Hi, I'm Anna. I'm a bilingual speech language pathologist and today I want to show you some of the things that I bring out to a therapy session when I'm working with a client. Now this is something that you as a parent can do at home as well as some therapy ideas to help your child communicate and if you're working with children as a clinician you can use this in child therapy sessions as well which I found to be very successful at engaging children and helping them get excited to talk. So before a call, I set up my bag of tricks where I place all the essential items that I know will get my child's attention and I can make a connection even through a screen uh, to get the child excited to participate or some items that I can beforehand tell mom or dad to bring out and find around their house so we can do the session together. So one of the things I use are binoculars. I see you, I see you, there you are. So these are fun and it brings attention to my face. It gets the child to kind of be excited. Ooh, what is she gonna do with those things? What are those? We can talk about binoculars and what they are. These help me see you better. There you are, I see you and before a call, I usually prep the parents to set up some sort of toy like this. Now, not everybody has binoculars in their home, but I've got a simple trick for you. Ta-da! Ta-da! Introducing a roll of toilet paper. So after you're done with your toilet paper, instead of tossing this, you can save it and you can make some binoculars of your own. I use some cool washi tape. You can use something decorative. You can have your child first color and put stickers all over each roll and then you can help tape them together. You could either put also glue and glue them together. And if you don't have anything at home, you can just use your hands. I see you. There you are. Hi. Oh, I see lots of fun toys there. What do you have? Can you show me? Ooh, I see a, is that a, that is, I see your car, car, beep, beep. With the binoculars, what you can do is also beforehand, you can set up all the little items in a basket or in a little box, and you can have all the sounds and the items that you want your, your client to repeat or the parent to model at home. So, let's bring this out and we're going to look for oh do you see i have a basket of fun things do you want to see what's inside yes yes all right let's see and with the binoculars and with this little game you want to use the phrase i see a, and then the item's name now what this is going to encourage is for us to help the child increase their length of utterance. So increase the number of words they say in a sentence. If, the, if your child right now is at the one word utterances, you can say the phrase and then stop and let them try to fill the gap. So you can say, I see a, I see an apple. Do you see the apple? and you can incorporate sign language as well if they're not verbal yet and even if they're verbal I like to also incorporate sign language as an extra layer to our communication it gives them the visual cue and it prompts their brain and they're like oh yeah that's right that's an apple so bend your index finger put it by your cheek and it's like you're munching on the core of the apple I've seen it also sign with some some children sign it with their finger but again, it's just a twisting motion. Apple, yes. Should we see some more? More, please. You wanna encourage them to request for you to keep going, so more. Bring two hands together and please rub your heart, please. All right, let's see what else we can find. Ooh, I see a sheep. Ba, ba. Hello, hi sheep. Ba. What does the sheep say? Ba, ba. You want to hold the sound and the animal near your mouth or the item. That way they can look at your mouth and look at the animal and be encouraged to kind of see how it's produced. 
Bah, bah. Ooh, what else do we see? I see a ball. Ball. Do you see the ball? I see your ball. Wait a minute. Is that a ball you have there? Can you show me your ball? There, I see it. I see a ball. You have a big ball. Ball. And the sign for ball. Pretend like you're holding a ball. Ball. Should we do more? More, please. I see a baby. Hi, baby. Hello. And we want to also encourage that sing-song intonation, or we call it the sing-song prosody, where we're extending the vowel, we're holding out the word, kind of like a song. Baby. Baby. You don't have to do it all the time, but when you're trying to really reinforce a certain word, you're trying to work with your child, it's important to hold those vowels out and be a little bit more animated and use a sing-song-like quality. Baby. Bye, baby. I see a pig. Pig. Oink, oink. Pig. Hello, pig. Should we do more? More, please. Okay. I see a... Ooh, what is that? Train. Train. What does the train say? Choo, choo. Choo, choo. Choo, choo. And the sign for train. Choo, choo. Two fingers and you rub them like they're the railroad tracks. Choo, choo. I see a oh, oh, oh. monkey. Hi, monkey. Hello. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Monkey. Monkey. Bye, monkey. Should we do some more? I see a fish. Fish, the sign for the fish. Wiggle your hand like it's the fish swimming in the water. Fish. Hi, fishy. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Should we make our fishy lips? Bloop, 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 bloop. Any oral motor that you can do to help the child move their lips, make noises, make environmental sounds and animal sounds, that will help stimulate more of these early developing sounds like the p and the b and the m. And with those, we also like to pair that with some sort of visual cue. Um, if the child's older, you can also have the actual print. And this is good to introduce early literacy and print. P, p, do you hear that? P, p, pig. Let me hear your popping sound. Pop. P. Ooh, I heard that. P, p, pop. P. Should we do one more? One more, please. <gasps> Let's. See. Oh, I keep turning my binoculars. I can't see you. Wait, where'd you go? Where are you? Where is baby? Where is baby? Pika boo. I see you, baby. Let's do one more. I see a cookie. Cookie. Let's sign cookie. Pretend like you have a cookie cutter and you're cutting into the dough. Cookie. Um, nom, 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 nom. Yummy. And then you can interact with some of the items and make it more functional. <gasps> Baby wants a cookie. Nom, 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 nom. Yummy. More cookie. <gasps> more cookie. So you can use some of these ideas with a simple roll of toilet paper. And if you have some of these laying around too, a little magnifying glass, this would be great too. You can hide things in your home, play a scavenger game, and they can go find it and they say, I found a baby. I found a ball. I see a ball. 
Now you can also do this in Spanish. I'm a bilingual therapist, so I do a lot of therapy in Spanish as well. And I have Spanish play groups where we talk a lot about the items that we see and we have that starter phrase. So I say, yo veo una pelota. Yo veo una manzana. Mm. Yo veo un mono. Uh, uh, ah, ah. Hola, mono. Hola, hola, amigos. ¿Cómo están? Hola, mono. Now, something else you can do with the roll of toilet paper is you can put things in and you can take them out. So you can work on prepositions. The monkey goes in. Bye-bye, monkey. Where's the monkey? Monkey, where are you? There he is. Hi, monkey. Hello. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Silly monkey. You are a silly, silly, silly monkey. That's the sign for silly. Wiggle your thumb by your nose. Silly, silly, silly. So this is a great way to use a simple roll of toilet paper for a telescope, for binoculars, or for prepositions, hiding things in, taking them out, out, out. You want to put the sheep in. Oh no, oh no, the sheep is stuck. My head, my head, get me out. Oh no, help, do you need help? The sign for help, help. Like you're asking for a ride or saying thumbs up and then lift your hand, help, help you. Help me help each other. This is a directional uh, sign. So here the sheep is stuck. Let's help them. Help, 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 please. <sighs> I was stuck. Yes, you were stuck. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, he got hurt. Oh, kisses, kisses. No more getting in. No, no, no. What about our train? Does our train fit in? Ooh, where'd the train go? There it is. Oh, she took it out. Oh, 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 out, 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 out. Ah. Out train. And slowly you build up the length of utterance. Out, in, train, and then out train, in train. Please help. Train in, go train. So you could use many little starter phrases and just a lot of repetition with your child. All right. So that was my bag of tricks. Great. So that was my bag of tricks for today or my box of tricks. Again, prep parent beforehand to maybe find the item. Let them maybe sort out some of the toys in their house that can relate to what you're working on and then just have fun with it. Encourage the parent to model for the child at home and to also have a lot of pause time so the child can be encouraged to finish the utterance. I see a monkey. And if your child is not saying the word, again, just model, a lot of modeling and repetition. Hopefully this will get your client or your child excited to play a game of finding items and encouraging language and communication. But remember, you got to make it fun. So make sure you get silly and bring out things that your child likes and build from there. You don't need much for teletherapy. You don't need to be a, a techie person or have a lot of things on the screen. You just need a way to promote back and forth communication and engagement between the parent and the child and you be the model and follow your child's lead. If they're not enjoying the activity, try something else. I have lots of videos that I give you tips of activities and ideas of strategies that you can use to implement with your client or your child. So please check those out. Let me know if you have any questions. And remember to stay safe and healthy and play, play, play. Adios, amigos. Bye, friends. Hi, friends. Dun, 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 dun. I'm Anna. I'm Anna. I'm Anna Banana. I'm Anna. I'm Anna. Alright, little cafecito. Can you believe it? I get nervous to make videos on my phone. Like I'm talking to my phone. No, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to my phone. Alright, where do I put my coffee? Mm, sparks communication. Ding.
Listos. Let's rock and roll. Dun, 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 dun. Alrighty. So we're gonna talk about I see a duck, a carrier phrase. And whew. hi friends. Oh, my mic's not plugged in. Hi friends, 